Now, Milo, I wanted to talk to you yeah. about this. You recently received an award. You received the Hasty Pudding Man of the Year Award I at did. Harvard. Yeah. I've I never heard of this. <laughs> what is it? What do you have to do? How do you get it? Um, what do you have so to do? So, the Hasty Pudding Theatrical Society has been around for... It's the oldest theatrical society in all of the U.S., the third oldest in the world. And um, the students at Harvard, they put on an original show, but they also have a Man of the Year. I mean, Paul Newman was Man of the Year. Um... Tom Cruise, a bunch of great actors. Uh, Bryce Dallas Howard was Woman of the Year this year. Fantastic. And what you have to do, they induct you into the, the society, but also uh, they roast you. I've never been roasted, which was right. kind of awesome. Uh, humbling. <laughs> and, um, and then they put you through a couple different tasks to get into the Hasty Pudding theatricals, and I had to uh, rap the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air song, because that was my very first paying yeah. gig. To, I had to do a lap dance because apparently I was named uh, sexiest something like way back when and this student came up and said, no, he was the sexiest and I had to prove that I was sexier and doing that I had to do a lap dance for this young, young Harvard student. Yeah. We've all done it. We've all yeah, done it. Yeah, sure. Trying to imagine what a Milo Ventimiglia lap dance looks and feels I'm like. I'm sure there's video of it somewhere. <laughs> I'm sure you have video of it somewhere. No, I don't have any. I don't have any. I have no video. Well, I mean, that's me now. That's me for the week. Same. That's me for the week. Oh, my God. I was going to say, I almost crapped all around you. So. <laughs> what, I don't know what we're doing now. Is, what are we doing? I'm, I'm, I'm in a whole other zone. I'm just... I mean, this is us. That was you and that was me. That's yeah. what I feel. Yeah. <laughs> Reggie, do you have a question for any of our guests this evening? I do. Uh, tonight's question goes to... All four of our guests. Um... Uh, Kate, thank you for having one of the most uh, amazing voices to listen to. Mm -hmm. Oh, thanks. Um, uh, secondly, uh, Milo, uh, thank you so much for your contributions uh, to all of our friends and family back over at uh, his family. And um, so here's the question. If you were a parakeet and you were assigned the task of organizing a system of complicated files, would you recognize that you don't have hands? <laughs> or would you simply pretend that you did, but use your wings without the gripping power and end up destroying most of the files? I'd beak it. Uh -huh. I'd definitely beak. I'd, be I'd go in beak first. I think. Right. You? Um, claws. <laughs> Use your wings to fly and then, like, pick things up with your claws. <laughs> your feet, your feet. Huff. Yeah. Are you all right? <laughs> yeah, I just, uh, okay, I was just I was asking for a parakeet friends. <laughs> um, <laughs> that's, uh, actually, you, that was a trick question and you both got it right. It's absolutely...